What's up, guys? Welcome back. We got Soundgarden. It's been a long time since we got to Soundgarden. Yes, it has been a while. Apparently, Tiffany's ready for some Soundgarden as well. She's like, yeah. I think Outshined might have been the last song that we did, which was like a year ago, maybe. Yeah, it's been a long time. And that's the only song that we've done from Soundgarden. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought we only did one. Hmm? I thought we had only done one. Yeah. We've done more from um, Alice in Chains. I think that's the most from like the grunge scene that we've done. Yeah. We've done one from Nirvana as well. We've done a couple from Pearl Jam. So um, that's, I think, the grunge scene that we've got into. But uh, we're coming to this one, Black Hole Sun, because actually we're going to do the voice play. Yes. Um, new song that they just released. That's a request from Dale. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we want to check out the original first. Yeah. So we knew how to like anticipate what the original sounded like. Yeah, right? we want a comparison of, you know, what yes. voice play is going to do with Sound Soundgarden song because Soundgarden's obviously a heavier vibe mm -hmm. than what voice play would be. But um also, you know, it was, I think, a good opportunity to come back to Soundgarden because they're so revered by a lot of people. And Chris Cornell is somebody that we've heard a lot about, yes. but are not really familiar with. Yeah, I think when we first did Soundgarden, I remember being confused because I got mixed up with the band from the like 90s-ish Savage Garden. Mm -hmm. And that was something that's like a lot more mellow and like oh, okay. poppy and slow. So I was like, what is that? What are we listening to? Oh my God. But it's really uh, it makes sense. It's two different groups. So. All right. Well, let's get into some Soundgarden, Black yes. Hole Sun. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And if you're subscribed or think you're subscribed, make sure you check right now because YouTube has been a little bit finicky lately. So and if you're not subscribed, come subscribe and join us. Yeah, that as well. All right, let's go. <laughs> what are your thoughts so far, Philip? This is weird. 
I, just I from the creative standpoint, the video? the video is like, I don't, I didn't know what I was getting into with this one Yeah. in terms of the visuals, but it's not expecting it at all. And uh, so Black Hole Sun, I don't know if he's talking about hell. Yeah. Because it seems like these people are like all out to lunch and they're doing weird stuff. Yeah. He then, said things in there too, right? Like the honest man like doesn't exist anymore and like talking yeah. about snakes and it's like the, obviously the serpent is kind of like a visual yes. or like a Satan exactly. satanic visual, right? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, that that's why I was thinking that as well. I mean, you have like the, even the tongue visual. Yeah. Or, like, like it's the a Barbie doll roasting in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so black hole sun, instead of like a whole sun, you have the black hole sun, yeah. right? Yeah. That's so, like the fire in it. Yeah. Anyway. So do you want to add anything? I think I want to listen to the end of it and then see what conclusions. Nothing else. I like, do you to. like the song itself? I don't know how I feel about it yet. We're All gonna, right. We're going to see. I mean, I think like, you know, the guitar work and stuff like that. I think the vocal sounds good, but yeah. I think I need, I think I need to hear the whole thing. To I, I was just going to say, I, I do really like the chorus in this one. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's very melodic, which is offset by the heavier riffs mm-hmm. and, uh, um, kind of a cool like fusion there. Yeah. It's actually like, I thought it was going to be a harder sound. Yeah. Coming back to Soundgarden, um, I think as well, the first one that we did was a little bit harder. So this, I don't know if it was designed to have a little more mainstream appeal. Oh, yeah, And maybe. that's why the sound is a little, it's not soft. So they could play means. it like on the radio and in the music video on MTV and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. I really am not accustomed to Soundgarden's sound, quote unquote. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep it going. Wash away the rain Black hole 
was Black Hole Sun creepy video. I can imagine that video probably gained a lot of interest at the time with, I would assume it was probably on like MTV and stuff like that. And that was probably very different than everything else people were doing at the time. So I would imagine it probably got a lot of attention. Well, I think it got a lot of attention because it was creepy and weird. <laughs> well, yeah, but I think people were probably like, <laughs> what is this? And it drew attention to it. And how cheesy the computer generated <laughs> graphics looked. Also probably drew some attention. I think they did that on purpose. Yeah. And Well, I uh, wonder if at the time that really was that weird, like computer graphic wise, because think about back then, like computer graphics were not that good back then. This is the 90s, I don't think right? They were I think that... they said it was 90, I think we read it was 94. Yeah, but I don't think they were that bad either, but maybe I could be wrong. 94? That's pretty early. 30 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could be right. <laughs> like, some... Think about like the original MSN icons, like how non intricate those were <laughs> i can't remember that so long ago that was Damn. but anyways back to the song black hole sun by soundgarden it was definitely a lot heavier as we yeah. got after right after the pause Especially with the solo and stuff like i thought like they did a good job like with bringing in the electric guitar that sounded like pretty heavy i feel like it kind of it fit in with this like impending doom kind of sound of like everybody being sucked up into the hole and um <laughs> i feel like the drums were a lot heavier in that part too yeah, well, I think that, you know, a black hole sun and everybody being drawn into that was basically him talking about during the song that everybody on Earth is a waste of space, basically, yeah. right? And that everybody the is kind of... going to come and cleanse everybody away. Right. Um, and, you know, you saw that kind of happening. Everybody was seemingly not in a good state for the planet as a whole. So the planet needed to be cleansed. And I wonder that's what he what thinks he... about today's day and age. Pardon? I wonder what he thinks about today's day and age. Unfortunately, not around yeah. and passed away, but uh, not in the gr greatest circumstances. I don't think either. I think he committed suicide. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, but um, I think it was, that was the messaging of the song, right? Was all this is going on today in the world and the black hole sun needs to come and get rid of it all. So it's kind of like a rapture kind of spiritual coming of Christ yeah. idea, but in a black darker sense yeah, yeah. that he kind of made the, yeah. wrote and the I song think, about. Yeah. And I think like with the video too, the video kind of highlights that cause they're showing all these people just doing these like silly things, like sitting and watching TV and sit like la la la, like not doing anything productive or of value. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And that's why all these people in there were all like, Hey. Yeah, well, so what I was getting at was like, instead of, you know, the idea of some people's beliefs about the religious context is that, you know, you're going to go to heaven, right? When, you know, there's revelation or the end of time, you're going to go to heaven. But this is reversed. I think he was saying that, like, it was basically people were being drawn into hell, hmm. right? So instead of all the good people going to heaven, this is everybody on earth is is demonic or whatever and so they're all going to be drawn into hell mm, so okay. they're going to be taken away yeah. into the bad place instead of taken away into the good place so i think yeah. he reversed that Backwards. idea yeah. which is pretty cool songwriting yeah for sure and like i said i feel like with the instrumentation and stuff they did a good job of kind of highlighting like because obviously the song like the messaging of the song and the video was coming to this kind of climax peak of like all these people being sucked mm -hmm. up into the hole. Right. So I feel like they did a good job with the music, like in gradually getting heavier until it got to that part of that solo where it was the heaviest with the electric guitar and the drums and stuff of kind of like this peak of like, you're all getting sucked up in here now. Yeah. And Chris Finnell clearly has a very unique voice, very mm -hmm. fitted for this kind of sound. Yeah. Um, the way they yeah, kind of liked his vocal drawn his vocal out lengthily during some of the instrumentation to add this dramatic feel to the story. I feel like, you know, his vocals sit in really well with that. So, um, Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. Yeah. Very, very interesting vibe. Very creative. Yeah. And uh, let us know what you think about Black Hole Sun from Soundgarden. If it's one of your favorites from them, if you like other things from Soundgarden, we always appreciate your insights. This channel would not be where it is today without you guys. So thank you so much for all the support, the likes, the comments, the subscriptions has been overwhelming, but yes, in a good so way. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, Sam, anything else you want to add before we go? Just make sure you give us a thumbs up, you subscribe, and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Yeah, we drop two videos every single day, music, comedy, sports, and history. So uh, if you want to check, this out, check those out with us in the future, we'd love to have you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.